Well, um, I'm Leon de Verdievel. I'm, um, I live in Belgium. I'm 42 years old and I work as a television maker and as a script writer for the VRT, and that's like the Belgian Public Broadcasting Corporation. Jaký je váš příběh a příběh seriálu Smysl pro tumor? Kdy to všechno začalo? I was uh, 23 when I got cancer. And that's a weird age to get cancer. You live at 200 kilometers an hour and suddenly some, somebody says stop. And my life stopped for two years. I had like loads of chemotherapy, radiotherapy, stem cell transplantation. But I didn't want it to stop living. Of course, you're sad. Um, you experience a lot of pain. But I refuse to give up smiling and give up living. Um, and what I mean with that is like, I think it's really important, even if you're sick, to stay hoping, to, to have hope, to, to laugh every day, uh, to be optimistic, uh, even though it's sometimes really hard to be optimistic. But I sincerely believe that sense of tumor, and that's the reason why I've written it, is a story about hope, is a story about the big things in life, actually. It's about love. I was together with my girlfriend for eight months, and then I got sick. Um, it's about living, it's about life and death, because at a certain moment, um, it wasn't looking very good for me. Um, but it's mainly, most of all, about hope and, and love, because when I got sick, um, I was laying in the bed, but there was like an army of people uh, supporting me, my parents, my girlfriend, my, my, my friends. And for us, it was important to like keep on smiling sometimes because I didn't want it to be sad every day. Jak těžké bylo najít naději ve stavu největšího zoufalství? What is the most difficult thing there is? Because you get the diagnosis cancer, it's um, it's devastating. It's um, it rips you apart because I remember sitting in like the little office of the, the, the doctor and when he tells you you have cancer it's like an explosion in your head you think cancer I'm gonna die I'm only 23 years old and and for everybody who gets that diagnosis in Belgium and the Czech Republic it doesn't matter it's an earthquake and it's really hard to find hope but I truly believe It can help you dealing with the cancer. Bylo pro vás psaní knihy a seriálu smysl pro tumor formou terapie? It's funny because I, I did like a lot of interviews um, and that question always returns. Um, and until now I still haven't found the answer. Um, I don't think it's therapy. Um, there are so many people getting cancer, but it's so difficult for us to talk about it. And, and I think that was the main drive to make like an other story about cancer because when I got sick I got loads of presents from people who came to visit me and, and I got loads of books but all those books were so dark and were so sad and I thought like that doesn't help me so maybe we should make like a story that's realistic that shows the pain but also creates hope and making people smile in a very beautiful, tender way. Proč jste použil název Smysl pro tumor? Oh man, there were so many discussions in Belgium. Oh, should we keep the title? Should we diss the title? Um, I said we were gonna keep the title because um, it's a very personal story. Um, my father, he's like a very classical um, Flemish father. Um, he doesn't talk about his emotions. So when I, his son, his only son, became sick, um, he couldn't deal with it. He never talked about it, but every time he came to visit me, he made this one bad joke when he left, and that was, son, whatever happens, never lose your sense of humor. I was like, okay. Um, and when I started thinking about the series, I was thinking about a title, well, how can you combine hope and cancer? And then I thought about what my dad uh, said all the time. I can understand people are gonna be afraid a little bit of the title, but really see it as an other hopeful story about cancer. And it's not a comedy about cancer. I'm not laughing with people who have cancer. I had it myself. I tried to tell a story and, and the guys in the Czech Republic also did it about hope. So yeah.
Proč jste se rozhodl nechat převést knihu do seriálu? Máte pocit, že seriál by mohl říct více než kniha? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we live in a digital uh, age. People live through screens and, and I believe in storytelling and, 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 and the really the, the basic and how should I say it? I believe in storytelling and in many ways I've written the book. Uh, lots of people uh, read it, but I wanted to do more and make it not only my story, but make it a story of many people. So we interviewed like I think around a hundred cancer patients. We fought with my colleague, with another scriptwriter. How can we bring, open up the story to everybody? And and that's how Sense of Tumor was born. And it's a story with, for everybody. I think, it's it's really um, a story that contains lots of emotions. It's not only my story, but there are really some very personal things in it. Uh, like certain scenes are really taken out of my own experience. Jak jste vytvořil hlavní postavu? Kolik v něm jste vy a naopak kolik je fikce? Hrajete například rugby jako hlavní postava? No, I I have quite I have a little bit of posture of a rugby player, but I'm not a rugby player totally, but but to show you, I told you we interviewed lots of people um, and we interviewed this guy once. Um, uh, Sean, it was a guy in Belgium and really a gigantic fella. He was like two meters and he had leukemia. And I sat next to his bed and he was weighing, I think, 45 kilos. He was struggling hard to survive. And he said to me, you know, cancer is like rugby. They hurt you, they throw you against the ground. It hurts everywhere, but you have to get up every time again. And I was looking at the director and was like, damn, this is so good. It's a metaphor for the disease, so it has to go in the series. Belgická série Smysl pro tumor vyhrála mnoho ocenění. Jak jste tehdy vnímal, že váš životní příběh zaujal tolik lidí? Well, I'm, I'm a very down to earth, rational um, man and, and for me it was a very humbling, um, a humble experience to see how suddenly in Belgian society what it meant to people. Um, I still actually can't believe it. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's sometimes really overwhelming because um, I've experienced something that I never wanted to experience. Becoming sick, I still have to take medication every day. Um, I'm still having uh, problems with my body. Um, but I wanted to write like an honest story about something all people know but that we don't talk enough about and when the series were released in Belgium it just exploded but in a very positive way people started sharing their story people started saying I was sick also I recognize so much of it I remember sometimes in Belgium I go to universities or like um, hospitals to tell my story to a live audience um, there was a guy in the audience, uh, I think around 50, and he brought his whole family. And they were all crying. And after my lecture, the guy came to me and he said, and that's the biggest compliment I received, thank you for telling what I could never tell to my family. And uh, for me, that's so humbling, but it's unbelievable to hear that. And that's the thing we have to make series like this we have to do it uh, it was an absolute honor and it was fantastic working uh, with Mate. i'm not saying that because he's sitting on the bed a few meters further but it was first of all it's it's amazing that a, a personal story like this travels to another country and um, sometimes it happens when you meet people that you instantly have a good feeling and when I met Matei and he said, Lea, yeah, um, I read it and I'm going to like uh, rewrite it a little bit or adapt a little bit, but I'm not going to do much because I like the originals. We, had, we sat down, we had lunch, we had a conversation and I knew after 10 or 5 or 10 minutes, this is going to be great. This, this guy is so uh, trained and, and he, he's, he has the same emotional approach uh, to stuff, I think, and he's really skilled. 
so in many ways it's an absolute honor to work with him and I had full confidence in every team member, crew member, actor who worked on the Czech version. V seriálu jsou krátké výpovědi a příběhy onkologických pacientů. Můžeme považovat smysl pro tumor i za užitečnou příručku? Yeah, I've written the book as a sort of a, an honest self guide because I've received uh, many self guides as a present, but they were also shady and too polite. And I've written a self guide who says, "Hey, if you get in this book as a present and you don't like it, throw me through the room. See me as an object in which you can uh, frustrate, channel your frustration." Um, and that approach helps because you don't have to be careful with cancer patients. Sometimes we want to be honest, we want to talk about it. And I wanted to write a book that is really, really honest. Uh, but if you want to throw it away or if you don't want to read it, because not everybody is always ready to be that honest, it's no problem at all. I just want to make an honest story about the disease of our times. Spousta pacientů řekla, že jim váš seriál pomohl. Jak je důležité sdílet tyto zkušenosti? Dá se říct, že rakovina spojuje? For me that's like um, the biggest compliment I, I can receive and, and um, I hope people can find hope and, and a bit of solitude uh, in reading the book and seeing the series. Um, but I, for me it's a very personal thing. There were also people in Belgium who said it's too heavy, it comes too close and I also understand that. But from many of those people watch the series later and, and it's really not a, a horror movie about cancer. It gets emotional, but life is emotional. Life is an emotional roller coaster. Um, but yeah, it's just I should invite every everyone in the Czech Republic to give it a chance. It's really I think something you can really like and maybe learn a little bit from. Co pro vás osobně znamená smysl pro tumor a co myslíte, že může přinést lidem, kteří pořád váhají, zda si seriál pustit? A sense of tumor for me it's it's my life. It's, um, it's really it's actually my life. It's what I experience and it's my story and the most beautiful thing for me personally is that it's no longer my story alone. It's became like a support, um, an inspiration for a lot of people, and that's an immense, tremendous honor. And for me, sense of tumor is a story that hopefully uh, gives other people the chance to tell their story. Co byste chtěl, aby si čeští diváci odnesli ze sledování smyslu pro tumor? Je tam nějaké poselství? Yeah. I think the main message for the Czech audience would be don't be afraid, try to watch it. It's, it's, it's emotional, yeah, but maybe it's okay to show your emotions more. It's something, it's a universal story um, about a disease, but it's about much more. And, and it's about life, death, love, the most important thing in life. In, in, in life. So, give it a chance and i really really hope um, it's also an inspiration for many czech viewers and it's an absolute honor that the series are made here